Among the buzzwords today, cloud computing is one of the biggest in tech industry. But hardly anyone knows or understands the true definition of cloud computing unless you're a savvy IT professional. Hello everyone, my name is Sumana and let's get started with today's session. In this video, we're going to study about why we need cloud computing, what is cloud computing, and the different cloud computing models, that is, the service model and the cloud deployment models. Before moving on to what cloud computing is, let us first understand why it is so popular. Why cloud computing? Now there are various reasons as to why cloud computing is so popular. Let us discuss them one by one. The first and the foremost reason is low latency, or in other words, faster response time from servers. When your application resides on the cloud infrastructure, your application is made redundant in many servers spread across various geographical locations. When a user requests the website, the server closest to the user responds to them. Next is cost savings. The cost of the servers is really high, so instead of buying a server, you can rent it. This not only reduces your server usage cost, but it also reduces your labor cost. This same money could be put into different benefits of the company. Now, let's talk about the data security. Since the cloud service providers will be managing your data, it becomes their responsibility to protect your data from potential threats and hackers. Again, if it was the traditional way of storing your data, you would have to invest a lot of money to protect it. Next is disaster recovery. Let's say there's a place that has been hit by an earthquake and the data center in that particular location has been destroyed. So, if you are using a traditional method to save your data, it would be lost during the calamity. But what do you think would happen if you saved your data or applications on the cloud? When you upload your data onto the cloud, it becomes the responsibility of the cloud service provider to maintain your data. Your data would become available at different geographical locations. So, if the servers at a particular location goes down, your data can still be accessed through a different server which is present in a different geographical location. This is how your data can be recovered during a disaster. Last but not the least, easy management is one of the reasons why you need cloud computing. When you opt for cloud computing, you can employ new services and scale your information storage capabilities. In contrast to this, there will be a standalone on-premise data center which requires a fresh hardware and operating system buying, provisioning and deployment if huge IT requirements have to be fulfilled. This alternative adaptability characteristic makes cloud computing the right choice for firms of any size. As you now know why we need cloud computing, let's learn what cloud computing is. Cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. In simple words, cloud computing is the delivery of computing, developing and deployment services like servers, storage, database, networking tools and software over the internet. Let's learn a little bit more about these services. Software as a service, which is also known as cloud application services, represents the most commonly utilized option for businesses in the cloud market. It uses the internet to deliver applications to its users, which are managed by a third-party vendor. A majority of SaaS applications can be run directly through a web browser and do not require any downloads or installations on the client side. Due to its web delivery model, SaaS eliminates the need to download and install applications on each individual computer. In SaaS, vendors manage all the potential technical issues such as data, middleware, server and storage while businesses can simply streamline their maintenance and support. In addition to that, the users are not responsible for any software or hardware updates. If you are a startup or a small company that needs to launch e-commerce quickly, and do not have the time for server issues or software, then software as a solution is the best option. The next type of cloud computing service is called as platform as a service. Platform as a service provides a platform for software creation. Platform as a service also provides a framework for developers which they can build and create customized applications. All servers, storage and networking can be managed by enterprise or a third-party provider while the developers can maintain management of the application. Platform as a service is built on virtualization technology. This means that the resources can easily be scaled up or down as your business changes. It also provides a variety of services 
to assist with the development, testing and deployment of applications. If there are multiple developers working on the same project or if other vendors must be included as well, PaaS can provide great speed and flexibility to the entire process. PaaS is also beneficial if you wish to be able to create your own customized applications. This cloud service also can greatly reduce costs and it can simplify some challenges that come up if you are rapidly developing or deploying an app. The last type of cloud computing service is infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service is made of highly scalable and automated computed resource. Infrastructure as a service delivers cloud computing infrastructure to organizations including things such as servers, network, operating systems and storage through virtualization technology. Infrastructure as a service provides the same technologies and capabilities as a traditional data center without having to physically maintain or manage all of it. Its clients can still access their server and storage directly, but it is all outsourced through a virtual data center in the cloud. It easily allows for automated deployment of storage, networking, servers and processing power. The hardware can be purchased based on consumption for the business. Hence, the cost varies dependent on consumption. For rapidly growing companies, infrastructure as a service can be good option as you don't have to commit to a specific hardware or software as your needs change and evolve. It also helps if you are unsure what demands a new application will need as there is a lot of flexibility to scale up or down as needed. As we have now learned what the service models are, let us study about how these services can be deployed and what are the different types of clouds. There are three types of cloud deployments method, private cloud, public cloud, and hybrid cloud. Let us study about these deployment methods a bit more. The first is the private cloud. The private cloud refers to the cloud solution dedicated for use by a single organization. The data center resources may be located on-premise or operated by third-party vendor off-site. The cloud computing resources are isolated and delivered via a secure private network and not shared with other customers. Private cloud is customizable to meet the unique business and security needs of the organization. With greater visibility and control in the infrastructure, organizations can operate compilant sensitive IT workloads without compromising on the security and performance previously only achieved with dedicated on-premise data center. Next up, we have public cloud. Public cloud refers to the cloud computing model with which the IT services are delivered across the internet. The service may be free, freemium or a subscription based offering charged based on the cloud computing resource consumed. The computing functionality may range from common services such as email, apps and storage to the enterprise grade OS platform or infrastructure environments used for software development and testing. The cloud vendor is responsible for developing, managing and maintaining a pool of computing resources shared between multiple talents from across the network. The defining features of a public cloud solution include high elasticity and scalability for IT-enabled services delivered at a low-cost subscription-based pricing tier. As most popular model of cloud computing services, the public cloud offers vast choices in terms of solution and computing resources to address the growing needs of organizations of all sizes and verticals. The last of the deployment model is the hybrid cloud. Hybrid clouds are a combination of private and public clouds. This type of cloud is used in large organizations where they need a private cloud for mission-critical applications and a public cloud for running heavy cloud infrastructure environment that is a mix of public and private cloud solutions. The resources are typically orchestrated as an integrated infrastructure environment. Apps and data workloads can share the resources between public and private cloud deployment based on organizational business and technical policies around security, performance, scalability, cost and efficiency, among other aspects. For instance, organizations can use private cloud environments for their IT workloads and complement the infrastructure with public cloud resources to accommodate occasional spikes in network traffic. As a result, access to additional computing capacity does not require the high capex of a private cloud environment but is delivered as a short-term IT service via a public cloud solution. 
The environment itself is seamlessly integrated to ensure optimum performance and scalability to changing business needs. And that's the lesson for today, folks. Hope you understood what cloud is and why we need it. If you'd like to learn more about cloud computing, check out the link in the description box and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.